Hello from Canada, Zach Hample here at Rogers Centre in Toronto for the first time in three years pre-pandemic. And now that I'm back, it's my 27th Major League Baseball Stadium this season. All that remains is SoCal, that's coming up soon. And listen, this place is pretty tough for catching baseballs. You'll find out why in just a bit, but always happy to be here. And we are here pretty early, so let's take a little bit of time to look around outside the stadium and then actually go inside the hotel because you can see the field from there. So show the lovely people of YouTube what's above me, show them out that way because it's cool. So yeah, this place is pretty cool, but for right now, I think it's actually time to head back outside and wait for the gates to open for real. And one more thing, I gotta get a new Blue Jays hat. You guys have left a lot of comments saying like, oh, this logo is out of date. So hopefully tonight is the night. So, this guy Dan was my baseball coach here in Canada about 30 years ago, and we haven't seen each other since. This is amazing. Great to be here. Great to see you, Zach, man. This is my little guy Nathan, too. He's the next generation right here. All right, one, two, In accordance two, with Ontario's three. latest public health guidelines, and inside the stadium we go. You can see that I was the only fan on the first base side, so it was easy to be spotted by the players. This dude circled. Look where he throws this baseball. He throws it to no one. So I ran through the empty seats and then found that baseball right here in a seat. So that felt good to get on the board quickly. And then moments later, I headed down to the dugout because this employee wanted to give me another. So he tossed it to me through that space in the net. So again, that felt good. Here is a quick look at the roof. And okay, I know that in the next clip, it's gonna look dumb to see me jumping around like an idiot, but I was just trying to get some attention from the players. Well, I would have to say that things are off to a great start today. Three baseballs already. The Rays have not even started hitting. Hopefully they do hit, we'll see. Shout out to the fans in Toronto for always being so friendly and after I hung out with a few folks down the right field foul line I took off because batting practice was starting and I wanted to get to the outfield and did you notice by the way that I was carrying a backpack there you'll see it again here in a second Rogers Center is one of three stadiums that still allows normal backpacks along with the Oakland Coliseum and Yankee Stadium so right here I immediately got a ball Wait for it, there it is, by Manuel Margot down below. So that was my fourth of the day. And I gotta give some props to the Rays for being very generous. So here's a toss up that a woman named Allison snagged. We'll see her in the video later on. And here's Manuel Margot again, hooking up someone else. So after that, I decided, you know what? This section is dead and there are some good righties up there. So I decided to head upstairs. So you're gonna see me rounding the corner here racing up the ramp to the second level, the 200 level. So here I am hustling across the concourse, back down into the seats, peering over the edge, and check this out. Here is a shot hit by Randy Arozarena. We kind of filmed this one awkwardly, but here's a slow-mo of me catching it right there in the front row. So again, that felt great. And man, talk about good positioning, huh? Randy Arozarena is so fun to watch. Amazing display of power today in batting practice. Launched a whole bunch of balls into the second deck and I caught two of them on the fly. So I already had four when I ran up here. Now I have six for the day, which is like twice as many as I was expecting for the entire day. And the Rays are starting up another group right now. So I might head back downstairs, gotta wait and see who's hitting and then make a move. 
friendly reminder, that dude in the green shirt in the front row, that's my friend Dan that I saw outside the stadium, and look who catches this baseball. Yup, that's him. So I was shouting congrats from up above, he saw me, gave me a little wave, so that was cool, nice to see him get on the board, nice to see the new Jumbotron, and okay, I've talked about in the past why this stadium is so tough, you're going to see it here in the form of some toss-ups, that one falls short of me in the second deck, and this one thrown to Dan falls short of him in the 100 level, so I'll show you more about why it's tricky with some home run balls in just a bit, but first, behold the glory of the roof opening. Okay, so two groups of Rays BP are now in the books. The second one, predictably, was not as good as the first, so I'm heading over to right field, and I'm with a gentleman who lives here in Toronto named Bob Hughes. What's up? Hello, everyone. Nice not, only, not only was he nice enough to pick me up at the airport yesterday, but he is the co-owner of a website called MyGameBalls.com, which is sort of like Facebook for ball hawks. Absolutely. We'll leave it at that for now. You can see it up on the screen, MyGameBalls.com. I'll link to it in the description. Check it out. Create an account if you haven't already. Log your baseballs. And I hopefully will have a few more of my own to log soon during this final group of BP, you can see where we are out here in right center. So, good luck to us both. Now, as promised, here are some examples of why it's tough to catch home runs here. I'm going for this one and boom, hits the facade up above in the second deck and look at this one. Yeah, that goes into the second deck. So if you're on the 100 level, balls will fall short in the bullpens. They'll go over your head to the second deck. It's tough, man. You can only ever catch about a third of the baseballs. But thankfully, there was this really friendly ball boy below who was tossing balls up, including one to me right there. And here I am making some plans with him to meet up in just a little bit. And just listen to this exchange right here as I gave this one away. We didn't get one. Now, after that, there were a bunch of folks that wanted to hang out, and especially given the timing with batting practice done, I was glad to do it. So here's Dan again with his kid, and I have to give a special shout out to this guy. His name is Brian, and you can read the text on the screen right here to see what he was saying. He had watched the documentary about me earlier this year, Zach Hample vs. the World, and check this out. He shared the fact that he watched it on his Insta story, took a screenshot, printed it out, and had me sign it. So you can see right here what I wrote. Much love to Canada. I really do feel that way. Everyone is so cool, including this guy. Look at this. Look at this scruffy man. You may be cool, you two, but are you as cool as having a Zach Campbell tattoo right here? What? Wow. Ali, everybody. Love this dude. Yo, the man of the hour. Nice hat. Well, thank you. I think some people on Twitter might disagree, but to hell with them. This is real life. Until the game starts, is there time to buy a hat? Can I get down to the third base side to get a toss up from Vladdy? Am I gonna die of hunger? These are very important questions, so let's figure out the answers. <laughs> Boom, and let me get out of the way. I'm gonna change hats very quickly. One, two, three. Yeah, movie magic. Um, so, what's next? 
Oh my god, I'm gonna try to get balls on the third base side if possible. Hey! Hey, there you are. Uh, fourth playing right field, number 56, Randy Orno's Arena. Batting fifth, left fielder, number six, David Peralta. Hitting sixth, center fielder, number 13, Manuel Marcos. Second, plate first base, number 27, Vladimir Yo, things are happening fast tonight. Top of the first is already done. Vladdy is due to bat second. I wasn't able to get a baseball that he threw before the game, but as I mentioned recently in Baltimore, he is still at 99 career home runs. So, gonna try to find some space out in right center. I just have a feeling he's gonna go oppo, and uh, wish me luck. It is not a good sign when the bat goes farther than the ball. Yeah, Vladdy got fooled pretty badly on that one, but he'll still be up a few more times. And both teams went down quickly in the first one, two, three. So top of the second right now, and you can see that I do have some space out here in right center field. So since it is still the second inning, it's the heart of the order, I don't want to leave now to go get food, but I will soon, just got to be strategic about it. Okay, top of the third right now, Rays are on top, one nothing. And in the bottom of the third, Vladdy will be up fifth if the Jays get two guys on base. So I don't want to take too much time getting food, but it has to happen now. I'm going to have a hypoglycemic moment any second. accomplished food acquired two items one for me one for my videographer today we got poutine on the left and jerk chicken nachos on the right so uh, we have two outs here now in the top of the fourth so very little time before flatty comes up so let me see just how much eating I can do in the next like mm, three minutes and then did this Mr. Guerrero Jr. with the base hit right there, so he is one for two. Not what I wanted to see. I want that dinger, but good for him and also good for the Jays. They tied it up, then hit into a double play to wrap up the fourth. So, the game is tied one apiece, top of the fifth now, and you guys know that I count balls from stadium employees. And there is a special one over here. Swing around this way. Everybody say hi to James. And we got this guy in a video when I was on the field at Yankee Stadium. What year was that? 2017? Five years ago. And you said that you have a ball that Vladdy has some connection to? Uh, so I was at batting practice this morning. This afternoon. Yeah. He threw this ball up. I think he was showing it to someone on the 200 level. And he hit the facade and bounced down into the center of him. Wow. My man. Thank you. This is now my eighth baseball of the day. And early on, when I was getting all those toss-ups before BP, there were no kids out there, so I was keeping all of them. But 
I do want to hand out some baseballs. So if I find some youngsters over the course of the night, I'm gonna hand out those balls. I might keep this one though. This is meaningful because it's from you. It's nice and mud rubbed. So yeah, I think for right now, before my poutine gets cold, I'm gonna go back down there and eat. And James's shift is ending, so he's gonna change, right? Yep. Okay. And then come back and hang. So yes. my man, yeah. love this dude. And uh, yeah, go do your thing. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. celebrated here. I said I was going to give baseballs to the youngsters, but I think she's deserving. We are heading to the eighth inning. The Rays are on top two to one, and there are a whole lot of friendly faces in the building tonight. Right here, Mio and her husband Joe and their friend Akiko. You might remember them from a Watch With Zach game last season. And there they are in the back. And also right behind me is my friend Jordan. What's up? Right here we have Ali. Hello. That is Bob. You've seen some of these people already in the video today. There is James looking like a civilian and his mom Allison and their friend Cameron. What's up? And I should also shout out, I think his name is Owen, the ball boy who chucked me my seventh ball of the day. If I'm messing up his name, I'm sorry. I think it was Owen. Uh, so that's the situation. I'll just show you the view again from deep out here in right center. So this game has been moving fast. Of course, by saying that, I just jinxed it. Is that right? That's how it works. Um, but we have a couple innings to go. So Vladdy should be up at least once more, hoping for some magic. Can you? Well, Vladdy was unable to hit a home run tonight, but Bo Bichette did, and it could not have come at a better time. In the bottom of the eighth, with his team down by one run and a runner on base, so that long ball put the Jays on top, three to two. And of course, this place went absolutely nuts, and that momentum kept going in the ninth when Jordan Romano entered the game. The stadium lights were flashing, and the LED boards were going nuts and hyping him up, so that was really fun to see. And then he did what he's done 32 other times this season. He shut things down and earned the save, and man, this was a huge win for Toronto as they make their final push toward playing postseason baseball. But hang on, let's just talk about Bichette for a moment because the home run that he hit was the ultimate revenge after he had gotten clipped on the helmet by a pitch earlier on. That right there is the stuff of champions. And as for me, while I'm actually outside the stadium, thought this would be a cool place to wrap things up, I got eight baseballs, which is like twice as many as I expected to get. So feeling really good about that. 
So including the ones that I gave away, that brings the lifetime total to a number higher than you guys might expect. Because since the last video that you saw, well, I went to two Yankee games in New York, just as a fan, not for YouTube. Imagine that. And so I got nine balls total in those two games. So adding the nine and now the eight, the lifetime number is now 12,000 and 21. So that feels cool. Having been to 27 stadiums this season feels cool. Just three more, like I said, SoCal coming up next. I think the next video that you see, if everything goes according to plan, will be from Anaheim. So of course that could change, but stay tuned. And I just wanna show you where we are quickly right outside the stadium. And thank you guys for watching. And as I say goodnight to you, I wanna leave you with one final shot of the CN Tower. This place is amazing. Much love to everybody here in Canada.